Hi y'all, Martha here. I'm just jumping in today to share with you another project that I did in my art journal. Uh, first I painted my uh, layout black and I took this calendar page. It was an inspiration to me and I was just trying to figure out how I wanted to use it. And I just wound up cutting it up. And I thought it was going to be my focal point. But it wound up not being. Uh, and here I'm trying to use bubble wrap. Because I don't really know where I want to go with this project. So I did a lot of stuff to start with. That just added to the layering process. And didn't even show it all in the end. But that's kind of the way it is when you're doing mixed media. And art journaling. And I did the bubble wrap I was not happy with the results anyway but you will see later on that I used a piece of um, netting from a pack of oranges and I liked that result better but it wound up being covered up too mostly in the end and all of what you see right now is going to be covered up and um, I'm just trying to find a way to make a full focal point with my rose and trying out some um, different um, stenciling techniques and I wasn't really happy with the results at all and I wound up I remembered in the end of a picture of a rose that I had done a mixed media piece and I never was really happy with it especially the background Oh, here I am using one of my stencils that I bought at uh, Hobby Lobby, and I did like that result, and I do use it le later on. But here's where I'm trying to do that focal point, and I just wind up adding a bunch of um, random pages and doily and uh, sheet music, and um, like I did a crossword piece of a crossword puzzle in there i was just trying to find a way to make it look right but wound up all of that just got mixed in the um process so it all wound up being pretty much background and you'll see that as you go on i wound up using some uh, dress pattern tissue and uh, of course it didn't show up much but it did add to some texture and um, if I wanted that to show up I would probably have to do it closer to um, before I add all the other stuff on top but anyway I'm going this video has speeded up and I will stop talking here in a minute i don't know that i finished my thought but i will try to finish it but i'll try to pop in here and there with some text to let you know what that uh i was using uh here and there i also used some i had found some someone was telling me well they weren't telling me they were telling in a video that you could use yes gesso to glue and i never did know that so i was trying some more clear gesso and i had a little bit of matte mixed media medium that uh, i wanted to use up so i was using those two products mainly to glue down although i did use some fabric tac for the heavier pieces but anyway i will leave you here and i will jump in at the end and show you how i finished everything up Thank you. Be back soon. Okay, I remembered the thought that I was uh, trying to finish. Uh, I had found a rose drawing that I had, or well, a draw, rose painting that I had done that I never was happy with, especially the background part of it. So I cut it up and it winds up being my focal point. So the roses from the calendar page were just wound up being background images that added to the whole. But anyway, I will go again and I will pop in at the end and show you the completed piece and show you what that I did.
Here you'll see me using painted papers. I had taken a roller brush and painted some reds and blacks onto some cardstock, and I really loved the results, and I had saved it uh, all this time, and I thought it would go very nice with this work that I'm doing here, and I really like this, and I look forward to painting some more papers in the future. These little pieces of uh, red paper with the polka dots are just pieces of an envelope that um, I received some Christmas mail in um, a while back and I just thought the colors would look nice in, um, with this collage work that I'm doing here.
Here I'm using my stencil that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm using my homemade texture paste. Um, I really like this texture paste. It works really well and um, it keeps for a long time. I made up a batch um, a couple of weeks ago and I've been keeping it uh, in a sealed uh, plastic container and it's still good and I haven't used it all up yet and it was really cheap to make. It's actually just Elmer's glue all and cornstarch and um, if anybody's interested in the recipe, I will find it for you. Just add, put in the comments that you would like it. So I'm just using this stencil again and making the um, marks around the edge of the paper to kind of frame it. And I will change the color later, but this is what I'm doing here now. I had decided that my little pieces of sheet music that I had placed around the layout were just a little bit too bright, so I was trying to tame them down with a little bit of red ink. And I, it was okay, but uh, I decided later on to do something different. So stay tuned and you'll see. So here's where I decided that my stenciling with the orange knitting bag and the little pieces of music paper needed to be toned down and blended in a little bit. I thought they were just a little bit too bright. So I took some really dark red paint, I think it's actually called burgundy, 
and I was just trying to make things blend together a little bit better here and this brand I believe was craft smart and it was really watered down because I didn't want it to be a solid red I just I wanted the elements to shine through I just love my gold deco color pen and so here I am using it again and I decided to paint my texture paste gold instead of white. I thought the white was just a little bit too stark so I just used the pen to go over it and I will use it also to edge um, my layout like a frame. You will see that as well. and. I will use it some more in the end so please keep watching
will see that I am uh, getting ready to attach the rose that I had painted. I had painted on a cereal box, uh, just experimenting to see how it would look. And I liked how it looked, but I just didn't like the way the rose turned out and the background. But cutting it out and cutting the leaves out and adding a little bit to the rose, I found I liked it much better that way on this page. I attached the rose and the leaves with Fabri-Tac glue since they were so thick and stiff I didn't think they would stick to the layout very well if I didn't and still they pop up a little bit but that's okay they're attached and I like the results. If you'll notice I also went in with my stencil that I used for the gold around the edges the ones that I painted gold I used some black to add some interest to the page I'm outlining first with um, a Sharpie marker just to make it show up a little better. And then I went in with a white Faber-Castell artist pen and also a pos white Posca pen. I also right. went in a little nuts oh, with the stickles. Finished results. And I'll try to give you a close up and explain things that I did. that I might not have talked about already. So I kind of like it. I maybe went crazy with the gold pen a little bit and the stickles and the gold everywhere and the gems everywhere and the pearls everywhere. But that's the way I am, I guess. The more, the better. So, let me sit down here and talk about it a little bit. Of course, it never turns out like I think it will when I start. But, that's okay. Um, I added some pearls, as you will see, to frame the border. And I kind of just left some spaces in between them to add some interest. I put stickles all over the rows and I also outlined each petal with the gold paint pen and the leaves. I covered uh, the leaves with stickles as well. And I also went over these little uh, stencil flowers that I did on the corners. I also did those with stickles. And I just got carried away. I, I like it though, I really do. And then I added, I just couldn't help myself. I thought, okay, Martha, this is enough, this is enough. But I had to add some little red gems as well. A little bit more blingy bling. And then I started looking up rose quotes because I wanted to say something about a rose. And I really liked this one. A single rose can be my garden. And the actual the rest of the quote is, a single rose can be my garden and a single friend can be my world. But I didn't want to add that part. And the, I didn't add the person who quoted it, even though I really like him. His name, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name right, Leo Buscaglia. I think he was called Dr. Love in the 80s and 90s, but he has some really good messages. And I really liked this one, and I thought it went well with my rose. My white Posca pen is starting to run out of ink, so 
I need to buy a new one because it's not as quite as bright as I would like it to be but I wrote it on some black cardstock and I even outlined it in gold so and I covered the whole thing with Mod Podge just to kind of seal it in I don't think there's no Mod Podge on the pearls and the gems though they're just stuck down so let me know in the comments what you think. It's a little busy, it's a little shiny, it's a little bright, and it's a little red. But you know what? I think I love it. All right, if you stuck it out this far, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And like, give me a thumbs up if you liked my content give me a comment and please if you're not already subscribed subscribe there will be some more videos up with art journaling and other projects and I would love to have you join my channel and be a part of the little community that I'm trying to create and I will see you soon bye now